Have I always been good at speaking? No, I got a D in speech class in college. I remember my first talk. I was in the Fairmont in, in New Orleans, and I remember it was at our big awards banquet. I had never really done any of that. That was always my mom or whatever. I was always the guy behind the scenes. So my mom was like, you're gonna deliver the package and you've worked on it, the color schemes, the you know what we're gonna be doing, the new catalog, because at the time it was just a black and white catalog and we were moving this color catalog, all this other stuff. I remember saying, um, pausing, stuttering about 50 different times. I got done with that speech and literally I could take my shirt off and I wring it out and just, it could fill up a whole bucket. I was so nervous, so sweaty. I'm sweating on stage. I mean, it, it, people had to look at me and go, oh God, does he have a you know, perspiration problem? I mean, like, this is bad. You know, I went from giving that talk to then going and practicing every day when, you know, we'd go out, I'd go from city to city to city, and it was just repetition, 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 and really starting to watch other people, you know, from Tony Robbins to Dale Carnegie to these other people that are speaking and how they're speaking, and, and I was never professionally trained. I was, you know, I just watched what other people were doing, and, you know, I tried to model and, and see what they did, how they would do crowd interaction. You know, the best people to watch were ministers or the pastors at your churches because of the way they were able to get up and and, and move a congregation. So, you know, I wasn't a public speaker. I wasn't trained to be a public speaker, but I learned how to go out there because my job as a leader was not only just about going out there and running a successful business, but it was also to move a, a sales force and motivate a sales force and motivate them because, again, they're an at will sales force. You know, this is a volunteer job that they do, so you got to motivate them and, uh, and, and get the best out of them because a lot of people don't believe in themselves. That's a problem I see all the time. Is, the self-doubt or self, you know, disbelief in themselves. And you gotta tell them that they can do it, that you know, they're gonna get the no's and they're gonna get the not right now's, they're gonna get all that kind of stuff. But the more that they go out there and they push through it, the more the fruits of their label will, will actually come into, into fruition for them.